Caribbeans, Slaying Saiyans, and Cobra Kai's. I'm Asherella. This is my channel, Original Asherella. Today's video, I'm going to be discussing the problem that I have with the changes to Lola Bunny in the new Space Jam movie. Ugh. Okay, so um, before I get into that though, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave me a like and a comment. Find me on my social media accounts and gently press the notification bell. Okay, so recently one of my very dear people sent me a link to an article from uprocks.com about the new Space Jam movie. Now, if you don't know what Space Jam is, like, are you living under a rock over the past, like, you know, couple decades? <laughs> Like, seriously. But, um, okay, Space Jam is a movie, I think the original came out in, like, 1996. And it's a Looney Tunes movie with all, like, the classic Looney Tunes cast. And then Michael Jordan, their basketball players. R. Kelly, I Believe I Can Fly was, like, the main song from the soundtrack. Um, but in Space Jam, we are introduced to a new character into the Looney Tunes universe. And that is Lola Bunny. And now she is kind of like the female equivalent of Bugs sort of, um, you know, but she is animated to be like this badass bombshell. Like she's hot and she's sexy and, um, you know, she, she's a very like talented athlete and, you know, smart and witty and like, I mean, she's, she's a cool character. Um, okay. And so that is the first time that we have seen Lola. She makes appearances in Looney Tunes things since then like baby looney tunes which in my opinion is one of the biggest piece of trash out there like cartoons it is legitimately like a ripoff of ba uh, muppet babies but not good at all like baby looney tunes is terrible but that is not what this video is about so okay space jam lola bunny one of my lovely dear folk um sent me a link um to this article that's talking about how they have made changes to Lola for the new Space Jam movie because they are coming out with a sequel with LeBron James instead of Michael Jordan. And now there's been a lot of like headbutting. There's always a lot of headbutting over like Michael and LeBron. Um, like you're either team Michael Jordan or team LeBron James. Like who gives a shit really? I don't care. But that is what this new Space Jam is wrapped up in, okay? Um, but this article that was sent to me, like I said, it's by uprocks.com and I'm going to link the article down in the description if you want to read it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to read a little bit of it and then I'm going to tell you why I think it is appalling that they are making these changes to Lola, okay? So, okay, the Space Jam, a new legacy director says that Lola Bunny will be less sexualized than she was in the original. First of all, I want to say Lola... While well, she is animated to be like attractive and hot and sexy, she is an anthropomorphic rabbit, like animated rabbit. Really, how sexy can she be? Like how really, really, really sexy can she be? Like they're not animating like a rabbit cooch, you know what I mean? They're not like showing a nude rabbit, you know, they're not animating her in you know, garter belts and thigh-high stockings. But anyway, she's an anthropomorphic rabbit, for Christ's sake. Okay. That was the title. Entertainment Weekly has released the first images from the Long in the Works, Space Jam, and New Legacy. There's LeBron James in his Toon Squad jersey, dunking an electric basketball with the Eiffel Tower and a waterfall behind him. This movie's gonna be wild. That is literally what it says in quotation marks, or uh, parentheses. There is a slim, big chungus, aka Bugs Bunny, looking nervous about something. And there's the image that most caught the internet's attention. Lola Bunny with a different uniform style in, than in the original Space Jam, starring Michael Jordan. Why that was relevant to mention about the original, I don't know, about Michael Jordan. But anyway, okay. Director Malcolm D. Lee told EW that after watching 1996's Space Jam for the first time in 2019, Okay, time out. This guy is directing the sequel to Space Jam, this classic, iconic movie, and he just watched it for the first time a few years ago. I think that's weird, but anyway. He was called off guard by the very sexualized depiction of the Toon Squad's only female athlete. This is 2021. It's important to reflect the authenticity of a strong, capable female characters. 
He said Lola was reworked for a new legacy to make her less the object of Bugs' doll affection and more the team's best non-LeBron player. Oh, uh, okay. So, that in itself, I guess it doesn't sound too bad just hearing it right, but I'm going to tell you why this bothers me. So, there's a couple of reasons, and the main one is this, okay, there's this narrative that is being pushed in media lately that you you can't be like attractive and sexy and still be confident and capable it's like you have to pick one or the other and yes i know that for a very long time you know only very attractive people have been depicted in media and that's a whole other bag of worms um can of worms whatever you want to call it but you know because people have tried to overcorrect so drastically it is pushing these toxic narrative toxic narratives that is teaching young females especially young females like you know i'm old enough this shit's not going to affect me but like a young asherella you know by them changing lola from you know this you know bombshell like hot you know attractive character from the original and then changing her in the second one it is basically saying that you cannot be both. Like, you have to either be attractive or a good athlete or sexy or intelligent or, you know, got it going on or, you know, confident in any way. And, like, that is not what we need to be, like, putting out into the world. Like, you can be all of those things. Like, you can be attractive, smart, competent, capable, a good athlete, you know, great at business, a great artist, like, whatever. Like, we shouldn't have to choose between being attractive and these things for people to take us seriously or for it to be real. Okay, that is my main problem with this. And, you know, had they said that they were going to make Lola less sexualized because ultimately Space Jam is a family movie, I might feel a little bit differently, honestly. But that is not why they're making the changes to Lola. They're making the changes to Lola to let people know that it's not, or to, yeah, I mean, basically to let people know that it's not realistic to be super attractive, you know, like 10 and then be this amazing athlete. And that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Um, you know, like I said, you know, if they're making the changes because they felt like she was too sexy for a family film, I might feel a little bit differently. And then there is another aspect of this that bothers me also. And that is Lola is a pre-established character. And I know that characters, um, you know, their look and, you know, their personality, you know, can evolve throughout a franchise. But that is not what they're doing here. Um, you know, they're making this big change for a specific reason, but she is a pre-established character. You can't just go in and make changes like this to a pre-established character. And because people are pushing all these, like, you know, narratives, like with everything that starts out as a good idea, people push it to the extreme to the point that it negates the validity of whatever the thought or idea was to start with you know like it's like they're trying to force these ideas onto things that already exist like it reminds me i don't know if y'all remember i mean it's been several years that people got their feathers ruffled because stan lee had made a comment about how spider-man and peter parker could never be gay and you know, if anybody knows that if Peter Parker can or cannot be gay, would be Stan Lee. Like, he created the character. And people got so mad or were calling, like, Stan Lee, like, a homophobe and all this, like, saying that he was discriminatory against, like, LGBTQ and all this stuff. And it's like, no, it's because Peter Parker's not gay. It's not because Stan Lee had a problem with gay people. There are other gay, you know, Marvel characters and characters that fall into the LGBTQ community. But Peter Parker just doesn't happen to be one of them. And these people that are pushing these narratives, like I mentioned, and it's like body positivity which I could go on forever because it's toxic AF um, and other things it's like they're trying to take these ideas and labels and stick them on to pre-existing characters and they expect them 
to stick with validity and that is not going to happen you know if you want to create new characters that really embrace these ideas like fine do that to each your own it's definitely more valid than going through and trying to stick these labels onto free existing characters and it pisses me off because it's just it's negating it's devalidating everything good about these ideas that people are pushing um you know i don't consider myself a feminist at all i talk about this in my gender it's not because i am anti some ideas of feminism because i certainly consider myself just as equal to any dude out there but the mentality of feminism and these people that have gone hardcore with it like with everything else that starts out you know as a positive idea it has just been pushed to the level of toxicity and you know i don't agree with a lot of you know what so hardcore feminists think and say it's like i can be successful intelligent fun funny creative attractive you know just just as equal to any dude and still like for my guy to like open the door for me or offer me their jacket if I'm cold you know that doesn't devalidate you know all these other qualities that I have you know like it doesn't make me less than because I appreciate a little bit of chivalry and that is really kind of going off on a tangent but sort of kind of related but anyway I guess my point is um we should not be teaching, you know, girls that they have to choose between being attractive and being competent and successful. Uh, we don't need to be going through and slapping labels of, you know, certain ideas or social statements on pre-existing characters. And all that just needs to cut out. Now, I guess that's it. Um, let me know, are y'all gonna watch the new Space Jam movie? I don't know if it's coming out are we gonna go back to the movie theater? Like, is it gonna come out on a streaming service? I'm not even sure. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the new Space Jam. Let me know what you think about what I think about the changes to Lola Bunny. Um, yeah, let's talk about all that down in the comments below. I am Asherella. This is my channel, Original Asherella. If you don't already subscribe here to Original Asherella, the channel that you're watching right now, make sure that you do that. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and gently, ever so gently press that notification bell. Follow me on my social media accounts. Always tap in, never tap out, and keep on playing like a saint. Don't wanna hold